Hi guys, it's find of the month time again, and I'm delighted to say that we've found something lovely in diving. Um, hard hat diving and hard hat diving equipment is something that we're very passionate about and something that we've bought and sold for, gosh, 30 to 40 years. And, um, it was something that my dad was particularly fond of and that actually probably started this business was his, his love of hard hat diving equipment. Uh, when I was a young lad, we had two CB Gormans either side of the fireplace, so it sort of stuck with me too. Um, this is what's known as a Heinke 3 bolt 4 light harbour hat. It was designed by Heinke in the 30s, 40s for shallow water work. Um, as the name suggests, it was used in shallow water harbours, um, for divers would inspect vessels, um, sea defences, buoys, that sort of work, which is why it doesn't have its heavy set brails and nuts, which is something that you'd normally equate to with a diving helmet. Helmets like this were designed in the early 1800s um, by the Dean brothers um, and then coppersmiths of London at the time quickly caught on to and started developing their own designs. Heinke actually are sort of famous for using cast brass uh, in the early days rather than, than beaten copper. Um, and Heinke, the, the, the very, the most famous Heinke helmets tend to have a square, squarish corselet um, which, which helped sponge divers um, bend over and, and be able to get sponges, which is what they became famous for, uh, which is, and, and pearls actually, which is why the square bonneted 12 volt pine keys are called perler hats. But this is a harbour hat um, and they're very scarce actually. And, and, and I'm delighted to see this one here, especially in very good condition. Um, you can see the, 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 the remnants of its original tinning the tinning on Heinke's was quite thin, so that it's, it's it's normal to see uh, to see that that wearing away, but and the, the the small dents and bumps on it are you know commensurate with with its age and the work that they did. You know the, the divers would always be bumping their head on the vessels, bumping their head on things. Some divers even communicated with each other via spanner. So if they got these uh, small little dents on the top, interesting. Parts of a shallow water harbour hat is the hinged front port rather than the screwed on threaded one. Um, the two exhaust valves, the star valve is your sort of normal way of releasing air. And then you've got this ring pull safety valve here, which has let, let air escape really quickly in an emergency. As I said, lovely condition. Uh, little stampings, the numbers you'd expect. Heinke written here and there and uh, I've got to say you know I looked three or four times at, very closely at this helmet before uh, before purchasing it because there are fakes out there um, so be wary even the shallow water helmets have been replicated so do watch out for that and uh, yeah as a note to all of you if you have anything diving we're in the mood Please do send us photos of anything you've got. If you've got a Dean helmet, I've got 20 to 30,000 pounds waiting for you. Uh, or if you've got a Heinke with two eyes, same, you know, that would be it. We're all after these Holy Grail helmets. Um, but Heinke is, is one of those Rolls Royce companies. Uh, and uh, this helmet is definitely part of what I would consider a good collection, you know. Uh, so this will be this is gone on the website right now so I know this was uploaded this morning um, if you want to see how much it is and read a bit more info about it please check out our website now and if you want to keep up to date with our find of the months and our new arrivals then yeah don't forget to subscribe to our newsletters and our YouTube channel that's it for now I'll go and find the next find of the month